Hello students. Hello students. Today we are going to solve a question from CSR NET 2023. And the question ID is 705074. And this is basically from particle physics. And this question is really interesting question. So in that question, it is given that you have a X zero particle. Huh? That particle is producing by this interaction. So pi minus is interacting with proton and it's producing some neutral particle X zero with neutron. So this uh, interaction is provided. And also this X zero, that neutral particle is decaying. So this neutral particle is decaying to two photon with branching ratio is given. For this, uh, the branching ratio is 0 0.38. This can also decay to three pi meson with branch, branching ratio 0 0.30. In addition to this, uh, this can also decay to two pi meson with branching ratio 10 to the power minus three. Okay. So basically you have to calculate, you have to calculate the spin charge conjugation and parity of this X zero particle that you have to calculate. And so really interesting question. And most of the stu student got confused by seeing this branching ratio. But branching ratio means what? This is nothing but that X zero will be decaying to two gamma. So the fractional decay of X zero particle will be 0 0.38 in two gamma production. Fractional of X zero particle will follow three pi production with this value. And this can also decay to two pi with fraction of 10 to the power minus three. It means basically X zero can decay in this three root with a fractional value that is given. Okay, so let us solve this question. So as you know that for any interaction or decay, the spin will be conserved. Okay. So basically, first you have to calculate that spin. So let us calculate that spin and the decay process are given. So this all three decay process are allowed in addition to this original decay process or uh, original interaction is also allowed. So let us take that. So you have a pi minus is interacting with proton producing x0 plus n. So we'll take all possible decay here. You have a x0 is decaying to 2 gamma x0 can also decay to 3 pi and finally you have a x0 goes to 2 pi okay well so now check that spin here so as you know that pi minus the spin of pi minus is 0 and for proton it can be half okay for neutron that spin is half this is a fermion and for any interaction that spin is conserved on the left hand side how much you have that spin is half okay so the spin of x0 will be how much you can see from here that spin of x0 can be how much that will be either 3 by 2 or 1 by 2 because when you will take 3 by 2 if you take 3 by 2 so 3 by 2 plus half that will be so uh, not uh, 3 by 2 this will be 0 or on. This can be 0 or on. Okay. Because if you take 0, so 0 plus half, that will be matching with half. If you take on, so on plus half, that will be 3 by 2. On minus half, that will be half. So half will be matching with this. So the from this interaction, I can say the spin of x0 can be a 0 or on. Now let us see from here. For any decay, that spin will be conserved. So here, the spin will be conserved. So you have a 2 gamma here. So that means gamma plus gamma. So again, if you see that spin, the spin of photon is on. So you have a on plus on. That will provide 2 on 0. So from this decay, we can see that spin of, uh, spin of x0 particle can be 2 or on or 0. We see here. Again, spin is conserved and you have a 3 pi meson here. So it means that pi 0, that spin is 0. So you'll have 0 plus 0 plus 0. That's the spin of 
x particle. So that will provide you a zero value. And here also, if you see that spin of uh, on the product, you have a two pi meson and that spin will be zero plus zero, which means that spin of the x zero particle will be zero. Now, if you see here that common, now in all in all possible three or uh, four decay, if you see that zero is common, and here you can see that spin of x zero particle can be zero. Here also you have a zero. Here you have a zero. Here you have a zero. It means basically from this uh, I can say if the spin of x zero particle is zero, then all these four interaction or decay are allowed. It means basically from this spin conservation, we can conclude that x zero particle will have spin that will be zero. If it is zero, then all three, all four decay or interaction are allowed. And spin should be conserved. And this interaction or decay are allowed. It means basically the spin of x zero will be zero. Now, so this is the spin we have, cal uh, we have calculated. Now we are going to see the charge conjugation. So how you see that charge conjugation? Let us take on possible interaction that is provided this interaction. So x0 goes to gamma plus gamma. So you know this interaction is what? This is your EM interaction because photon is involved, right? Photon is involved. So basically this is your EM interaction. And for EM interaction, charge conjugation will be conserved. So if you check that charge conjugation, so on the left hand side, I don't know that charge conjugation. So let us check that is C. I know that photon is basically boson. And for boson or for photon, that uh, charge conjugation is minus one. And charge conjugation is multiplicative in nature. So you have a two photon. So that will be minus one into minus one. That will be plus one. So I have obtained the spin J of X zero particle that is zero. And charge conjugation that we have obtained that is plus one. Okay, now we are going to see that parity. So we'll see that parity. So you have a, uh, this interaction is provided and you can see from here that proton is interacting with pi meson. So whenever you have a proton is interacting with any meson that will be strong interaction. And for strong interaction parity will be conserved. So let us check that parity. So you have a pi minus here, pi minus is a boson having parity minus on. Proton is a fermion, and obviously for fer fermion, that parity will be plus one. And parity is multiplicative nature, so minus one into plus one, because it's a multiplicative nature. Now we'll see on the right hand side. So you see here that neutron is basically fermion, parity will be positive. And parity should be conserved, right? This is a strong interaction. So this should be conserved when the parity of x zero is minus one. Then on the left hand side, you have a minus one that will be matching with product. To conserve the parity of this interaction, that parity of x zero should be minus one. So now we have obtained the parity uh, spin, charge conjugation and parity of x zero particle. So spin is zero, charge conjugation is plus one and parity is minus one. So this is the three values of x zero particle. So really interesting question. Okay, thank you.